The story so far. A death curse ravages the Forgotten Realms and drains away all healing magic. In an attempt to find the source and end the threat, our intrepid heroes have traveled to Potnianzaru on the continent of Chult. To gather more information, the group has to curry favor with Merchant Prince Jessamine, who, so far, sent them gathering poisonous mushrooms and had them drive off the village of Vegger Pygmy Raiders. Let's see what she has in mind for them this time. Adventure 3 The Great Ape Jessamine has found a valuable lead for you to follow up, but asks one final favor before she will turn over the information. A large white ape has been terrorizing a nearby area, and she would like you to get rid of it. Grumbling a bit at the continued list of tasks, you head out. Alright, before we dive in, our heroes have progressed a bit since the beginning, and we want to give you a quick reminder as to what items and special tokens they own now. We'll start out with Green's heroes. Well, first and foremost, Ashara here has another potion of healing, her plus two healing token that she bought, as well as her brand new plus one damage token that she can use on any attack once per adventure. Dragonbait also has a similar plus one damage token and still his trusty wand of fireballs. Looking at our other heroes, it's a bit more slim pickings over here. Kawasha only has the Boots of Elvenkind, which he got last adventure, and Birdsong has a reroll she can spend once during the adventure. Also, we're kind of completely broke. Yes, we spent all our money, but no matter, new pouches of copper are to be found. Well, one final task. One final task. You know, this gets even better if you know the background from the adventure module. Because that death curse we're talking about, Jessamine is dying from it. Really? And she's yeah. not helping us, she's just greeting. It's the same as in every other RPG computer or pen and paper you're playing. Yes, we need you to desperately save the world, but uh, actually that healing potion is 200 gold. Uh, right. Yeah, of course, sure. Ape hunt. Let's go. Just let's go. Let's get it over with. Um, Dragonbait, turn one. Death nothing, still sleepy, tired. Duration. That's a different start. Yeah, let's uh, take another path. Apparently some hunters have already tried to catch the ape and trap the area where the ape wasn't. Yeah, but look, there's bait in the trap. But it's... it's... traps. I, I'm sure it's fine. Just, just let the kitty handle it. Right, okay. White arrow, that means no encounters, no monsters on the board, no villain phase. Well, let's just keep going then. Kawasha, turn one. Kawasha. Um, yeah. Quite surprised that we're not getting flooded by monsters and this time have the traps instead. I'll just go two steps forward. Could bring out Kupalue. Actually, we have nothing better to do. Yeah, I have nothing better to do. Let's get him early this time. Um, I did shuffle those. Um, okay, so... Uh, yeah. That happened. That happened. Okay, we are not going to see Birdsong for three consecutive turns, are we? Probably not. She's she's getting really wide-eyed and starts to purr happily, so... Yeah, yeah, no. We'll see her when the ape is dead. Like last time, she wasn't around when the chief attacked either. She just finished him off. Yes. Once he was 
down to his last breath. And then bragged about all the way back to town. And after. Anyway, bird song. Put him down on Jessamine's front porch. Yeah. After all, it was her kill. Ishara, um, you know what? Just fly over here and take another step and see what's up there. Another yes. dead end, I presume. No. That's the opposite of a dead end. That's the Windy Hill. And Shara gets the honors to discover our first monster this time. Hooray! What's the first monster gonna be? First monster is... A UNT Brute Guard. Brute Guard. Okay. Shouldn't Dragon Bait discover those? Maybe they're fed up with Dragon Bait. But, White Arrow. No encounters. Just an angry reptile. Yeah, let's uh, give that to me. Because I'm giving it to you. My monster and... Yeah, the classic monster fashion. It gets close and attacks. Uh, moves adjacent to the closest hero and bites that hero. So we have got one piece of advice, which is that we can place it anywhere adjacent to any hero. So we could just move it here so it's within striking range for everyone, but it would also tie up everyone with his do not move as long as you're adjacent to me. Well then, just put it slightly to the side. Yeah, yeah, that works. Right, then it attacks with a plus seven for one point of damage. Time to test out our shiny new dice tower. Yeah, look at this, new toy! Ta da It's a 19 that hits. I don't like this toy. It hurts me. But that's Bergson's turn done. Because White Arrow said no encounter. It's Shara's turn done. Bird! Yeah, she's the bird, but the cat is named after the bird. I kept mixing that up in the beginning as well. Bird! <laughs> right, anyway, Shara's turn done. Birdsong. Will throw a poison dart at the UNT. That's a plus six. Let's see if the dice tower is nice to me. That's a 14. It's a 14 plus six. Yeah, 20 should hit that guy. Yeah, he has two hit points though. Yeah, so just put a wound on him. And now. Let's lightly step over that trap. One, two, three, oh, four. Die. We are! <laughs> That's a botch! Let's see what that trap is. Oof. <laughs> of course, it's a spear trap. That's three points of damage on Birdsong. Well, finally she knows what getting hurt feels like. <laughs> Do you think she'll learn from it? Possibly, maybe, not really. Um, but as far does, does the trap actually stop you in your track or do you get to go that final step? I don't think so, but I'll ask the rulebook. If the hero was in the middle of his or her move, you may continue moving them normally. And she has a speed of five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, she exactly reaches the chest. So, two treasures, and I get to select the one I like more. <coughs> Pouch of copper? Pouch of copper. Or I can take a breath and regain a hit point. Or recharge one of my used powers or items, but I actually regain the hit point. Mm. Because that's the trap hurt. Well, that, that was 100 gold worth of hit point. Worth it. Yeah. We would have grabbed that chest anyways. Right. Turn one done. Turn one done. Up to Dragon Bait. Yeah, let's go. Um, he could just step forward and hit the traps, or 
He's got one of his friends over there, so one, two, three, four, he has movement of four, right? Five. He's got a movement of five, so one, two, three, four, and... Um, you sure you want to do that? I mean, no. we've got enough people Handling who are still one? able to hit the UNT before he does anything. Yeah, Maybe. I guess you're right. Yeah, okay. I mean, he's the tank. He is the tank, so what's he doing next to monsters? Let's go, explore something. There, monster and encounter. Tank it. Go. Alright. I could actually prevent this monster from spawning. Do we want that? Or should we keep that for a more important time? Keep that at a moment where it's actually helpful. Okay. Yeah. You are XP. You are not a threat. It's a Batiri warrior. You are XP and treasure. Thank you. And... Batiri warrior. He looks very worried. Yeah, all alone there in the vines. But he's got an encounter with him. First encounter this time. Didn't have one the whole first turn. True. Right, let's see. It's a Yakuli strike. How comes we didn't have an encounter last turn when we only discovered three tiles? Birdsong didn't exactly explore. Yeah. And so, back, back to that again. All right, uh, back to that again. Yakuli strike. Um, that's Birdsong's encounter now. A snake flies out of the darkness, striking one of the heroes like a javelin. That's an interesting way for a snake to... Wet, nudely javelin. Yes. Attack a hero of your choice. It's a plus seven attack and it would do two damage. Um, dragon bait. Dragon bait. Yeah. Do you want it, to... It's your encounter. Go ahead. It's my encounter. All right. Now you can blame me. Yeah, I can blame you. When I'm done bleeding and being poisoned. How much? Two. 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 Right, then, second encounter, please. Dragon Bait's encounter is the Death Curse. Again. Huh. Roll a die on an 18 or higher, discard a healing surge. We still only have the one because we only get more if we actually completely fail an adventure. Right, dice being rolled. That's a 10. That's all right. This did nothing. Okay, then next up is the Bateria Warrior, who is going to just step forward and step. Right. Who suggests a cost hero, so he can once again circle around him if he wants. Yeah, puts him in range for people. Yeah. And stab with his spear. That's a 14 with a plus 6 attack that actually hits through the armor class. So that's another point of damage. It wasn't an 18 though, so no plus 1 damage. Well, first turn, first turn sucked last time too, so... This was what, the start of the second turn, okay? It's starting to suck again. Yeah, okay, okay. And everything went fine last time, did it? Right? Right? More or less, yeah. Nothing of importance was lost. Right. Um, Kawasha's turn, I think. I think I'll just leave Cooper Lui there to deal with the uh, UNT and throw flames at the Batiri. Because get your hands off Dragon Bait! Sure, just exterminate that one. 12 plus 7, 19. That is. And Fries, I think he only has the one HP. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's a goblin. All right. He ceases to exist. And I get a treasure. It's a pouch of copper. Money. No. Um, if I want to go further, I actually 
would have to uh, run by the UNT, and I can't do that, right? Or ah. is it starts his turn? No, it's not. It's uh, heroes adjacent to UNT, brute guards cannot move. I should have thought this through more. How much movement do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. You're one short of exploring? Unless one, two, three, four, five. You could step on that trap to explore. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll do that because I've got the boots of Elvenkind, which would allow me to um, cancel a black arrow encounter. Let's okay. just see what this is. Go ahead then. It's drawing one of the more interesting traps. Oh, bad. Probably. Didn't you try to not trigger it? That's oh, Birdsong's that's thing. That's Birdsong. Okay. You could have tried to disable it. But that would have used your turn. It's the, it's alarm the shrill clock. alarm. The finger of shrill alarm. The finger of shrill alarm again. Which means I spawn an extra monster. Trigger the trap during your villain phase. Um, and it's on my hero, this trap. And always during my villain phase, and this th until this thing is disabled, um, we'll get a new monster on the nearest ambush side. Right, that's not right next to Batsong, behind yeah. you. But uh, first is my exploration phase. And I get a monster anyways. And a black arrow. And a black arrow. Alright, let's try out these fancy new boots of elven kind. If I roll a, an 11 or higher, there won't be an encounter here. 16. Last I checked, that's 11 or higher. Yes, that means no encounter. Nice. Uh, traded a shrill alarm for an encounter, that's, that's kind of alright. Two monsters. Well, first monster on the tile is the Charlton Skeleton. That's a skeleton right here. And the one on the ambush side, because it spawns in my villain phase. Hunters, draw two more monster cards and place them on the two closest empty ambush sides. Let's go. Let's go. Here's the party. It's another Charlton Skeleton. I you can't, can't, I can't have that. have that. Another hero could have had it, but I can't. The fire newt. Fire newt coming right up. That's the little red burning gun. Yeah. Area of effect. And another fire newt. I can't have, have that. <laughs> For clarification, heroes can't have duplicates of the same monster. Yeah, um, because that would mean um, another hero wouldn't have the other. Basically, the monster would activate four times. Shattered tree. I don't have a miniature for that, sadly. <laughs> Shattered tree is still trying to ambush us. It is. And it's still failing due to being a tree. We do have models for that, actually, but I don't want to search for it right now. All right. Um, <clears throat> Let's go first with the Charlton skeleton here. If it's adjacent to a hero, no. If it was in, if it's within one tile of a hero, it moves adjacent to the hero with the lowest AC, and attacks it once with its sword. Guessing that's that's birds within its reach, right? Yes. Good. Okay. In that case, bird song, and it doesn't go dashing off to look for the bird. No. It's within one tile. Oh. Okay. Right, it's got a plus five. Birdsong's AC is 15. That's on the spot. That's one damage. Yep. And more that is. Now, oh, also I forgot something, but it's not, not of any consequence right now. Before the monsters act, actually Kupalue is going to act. 
and he is within one tile of a monster, so he moves adjacent to the closest monster and attacks the monster with his spear. So the Yuan T is attacked by the Veggie Pygmy. Let's go. Plus five. That is a very dead reptile. XP. Good Veggie. Wait, was it? Do we get XP or treasures for his kills? I think we get the XP because. Um, but no treasure, right? It no was treasure. one, but not the other, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, I'm going to look it up. No treasure, but XP. It's two experience waiting for cancellation of things. Um, will you put the goblin to that as well? I will, because he's dead already. I was wondering. I thought we already had one XP somewhere. Right. Um, and now, back to the monsters. Fire Nude. He is within one tile of a hero and selects the tile within one tile that has the most heroes on it and attacks everyone with flame breath. Yeah, that would be his own tile. Yes. He doesn't attack the monsters though. No. Sadly. Nor the traps, I'm afraid. Let's start with poor squishy birdsong. Poor squishy birdsong. Ouch. Yeah, that's it. And let's see if his flame is strong enough to make it past her and onto Kawasha. Doesn't look like it. Nope. She catches everything. She really tries to make up for lost time. That she does. Okay, so with Kawasha done, I It's believe? over to Ashara. It's over to Ashara. What is she gonna do with all of that going on? You know, I last, know. <laughs> last time we yes. always handled the asset splash wrong. But let's handle it correctly this time and treat it as exactly the same. I like how that works out. So, two movement points to get over here. I could... Asset Splash from over here. Asset Splash has a range of one tile. Also, you need the line of sight. I do. I could, however, fly all the way up to here. That's one, two, three. Yeah, you can do that. Can't explore anymore, but at least I'll be um, you at the could forefront. Still explore. I mean, that's just one movement point per tile, right? Two, two, oh, so two yeah, points yeah. per tile. Yeah, but at I least you're where the action is going to be. Exactly. I'm where I need to be in order to tank everything. And if you manage to kill both of them, we'll have enough XP to cancel an encounter should a really bad one arrive now. Right, in that case, let's start with the skeleton because acid works well on bones, I believe. 12 plus the 8 from the acid splash hits. That hits very much. Right, uh, Birdsong, take your head down. Did she get out in time? That's a 19, yes. Yes. That's awesome. Fire new. We've got a lovely, lovely pile of 5 XP. Also, treasure for you. Ray! It's a bag of silver. That's two pouches of copper? Yeah, there's nothing quite like the jingle of shiny coins. So much better than the jingle of dull coins. Yeah. Horrible sound, but... All right. After the bird goes the bird song. Um, yes, but let's but not, let's forget, not the forget the encounter. Again. We're getting better with this, I hope. Not so far, but we're trying. <laughs> it's a hidden tripwire. And this time there's more than enough traps. Right, so. Choose one of the two not yet activated traps and trigger it as if your hero was on it. This one is safe. Nice.
All right, on to Birdsong. On to Birdsong. She'll try to disable that shrill alarm. I was hoping you'd say that. She isn't any better at it than anyone else, and it's a 50-50, but we need that thing gone. We do need that thing gone. That's disabled. That's disabled. And then she can still move to uncover new threats, right? Yes. Also, if we manage to stick together sometime next turn, I might start throwing around some healing. Uh, maybe not such a bad idea. We found the village. Oh, that's um, sure suddenly of bad very guys. <laughs> very, very. I mean, the veggie pygmies nice. moved out. Who moved in? The Batiri warrior. Of course, these guys are everywhere. The straw man. We do not place a monster for that. Instead, we place the straw man token. Which counts as a hero for the purpose of monster tactics. It has an AC of 11 and one hit point. Oh, and finally, the Veggie Pygmy Chieftain. Huh. Wait. I know this guy. Aren't you supposed to be dead? Well, he's not dead, but he seems to be badly hurt because he's gotten a serious downgrade. He's only got 2 HP now and, well, gone is his ability to summon Veggie Pygmy Warriors. But as long as he's in play, uh, Veggie Pygmies would deal plus one damage. Goes that for Kupalui as well? Mm, no. It's Veggie Pygmy Warriors. No. He's just an ally, a plant. All right, let's take it in turn. Batiri Goblin. Goblin, what's his order of activation? He is within one tile of a hero. He moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks him with a spear for plus six. So the goblin is just... Training on his straw puppet. Yeah, using the dummy and not realizing there's heroes coming in. Nine? That's enough. That should be enough. Next up is the Chieftain. Yes, and I'm not happy about that because he he does two damage. Yeah. Um, he moves adjacent to the closest hero. Come over here. Right, and no, then... Come over here. And then steps that hero, I'm guessing. With a plus five. At least only a plus five. Nope, ouch, nope, nope, ouch, that's ouch. still enough. It's not a good time to be a cat. That song looks really messed up. She does. We should help her out somehow. Yeah, maybe that's... a potion of healing or something. <laughs> maybe, but that's mine. <laughs> um, okay, we'll figure something out next time. Next turn. Let's go on with Revenge of the Veggie Pygmy. Yeah. Um, Will him and his one goblin mercenary finally get vengeance on us? I'm doubtful. Great, wait. Let's make that pesky weed go away. I... He's becoming a professional weed whacker now. Can you please move onto the tile with the two other heroes? I think I can indeed do that. One, two, three, four, five. This is the best I can do. That's enough. That's enough. He only has one hit point, two hit points? Yes, two hit points. Two hit points. Um, okay, and he's not a demon, right? No. Mm. He very much would like to be, but he's, but he's not. not. He's, he's not. Okay. He's a plant. Right. Um, let's whack the bush. With my swift strikes. Because in that case I have the opportunity to just hit him and take him out in two hits. 
Strike one. That's a 10, that's a 14. Does that hit him? He has an AC of 12, so that's the first hit. I could just seal the deal with a plus one damage token now, but I think he's not that dangerous. I think somebody might be able to finish him off if the second strike doesn't connect now. Yeah. So, second strike, eight plus kills. Eight. <laughs> Never expend more energy than you have to. Nope. The bush is thoroughly whacked. And I get a treasure and we get XP and everything's great. He's worth three XP. Ooh. Which is good because in the near future, cancelling encounters will get more costly. Ooh. Pouch of copper. It's like that. Pouch of copper. I. Yeah. I can't be mad about that, right? Well, also one thing in the near future, not after this adventure, but after the next, we can finally start buying level ups. That is something worth considering to save up for. Yeah. Um, I did not explore anything, so... Encounter. Crushing humidity. That's, again, yeah. Kawasha and, and Dragon Bait just taking one for the team. Because we are not going to spend some XP on two hit points, I think. No. So, um, Kawasha. Kawasha. You can move over here and use his good berries. Do you want to explore with him? Because you yes. need to be on the uh, jigsaw tile for that. So one of these two. Uh, no, I just need to be adjacent to the nothing. Are you sure? Let me see. If your hero occupies a square adjacent to an unexplored edge. Okay, in that case. <clears throat> so you could technically discover two locations at once? Well, you have to decide in that case. Okay. Good berries. Each hero on my tile regains one hit point. That's nice. And since we have enough people already hurt quite a bit, um, I'm doing what I did last time. I jack off all trades with a bird song and help. Currently, we only have two people hurt. Just all right. for all right, your... all right. And then I still jack off all trades, the good berries. But you're so not... they're still there, but I don't immediately use them. Birdsong is still pretty beat up. You yeah, might... I'm going to do something about that. I'll actually give her my potion of healing. Speaking of doing something about it, I'm going to try and flame away that goblin there. Thank you. That didn't quite work out as intended, but at least one of the huts is on fire. Yeah. Right, I'm burning down the village, but not the goblin. Well, maybe at least he notices us now. Whilst everything is on fire, I explore over here. Like peeking around the corner. So that's a monster and an encounter. Let's see what we get. Um, we just had an encounter with Dragon Bait. I did not forget again. We had the crushing humidity. That was Dragon Bait's yeah. encounter. Ha! Um, and I bring out the monster, which is another UNT brute guard. Another UNT. Let's go. Here we go. Going to act as the doorkeeper here, making sure nobody can move past. But in terms of encounter, let's see if the boots of Elvenkind work again. Yes, let's. No, no. they don't. No, they don't. They have a 50-50 and they already work once, so... Statistically, this is fine. I'm still not happy about it. Wonder why. Um, because I'm getting charged by Bruan, Bruan T. Utgard. Um, Something like that. First encounter? Yes, first, first encounter. first weed? Oh, yeah. Uh, he activates... No, he, he activates as the first monster. Right. I thought you had the map. Again. Again. We really should, you know, start making sure someone has the map before we leave. 
This is the third time. Three out of three is very bad. Also, why is it the native druid that gets us lost? He probably figured he doesn't need no stinking map. He knows these jungles like the back of his pocket. He knows something. the jungles like the back of his hand. Hey, what's that on the back of my hand? Um, Kupalui moves up one tile. Doesn't do anything else. Right. And the UNT moves adjacent to the closest hero and bites him. This time I'm not going to move him onto the tile. I'm just going to let him be here so he doesn't block everyone. That's very thoughtful of you. So, plus seven. Plus seven, that's a beefy attack. Yeah, um, Kawasha is up to 17 because he still has his bark skin. Nice, that saves him. Yeah, that's um, 13. Yeah. My maths wasn't strong, but the bark skin is quite strong, so that UNT helplessly nibbles on Kawasha's arm. Right. Kind of cute looking like that. But, uh, but let's not get distracted here. On to Ashara. Ashara? Can't use the acid splash to hit both of them. Cannot use the acid splash to hit both, but she can use the potion of healing to hit Birdsong. Yeah. For 2 HP. You hit her right in the face with the potion of healing, which is great because it wouldn't have done anything otherwise. Right. Um, that done with... I could hurl the chromatic orb at the UNT to get rid of it. Yeah, you could do that. Or I could attack the goblin because he's more of a immediate concern. Um, yeah, actually, get rid of the goblin. I'm going to use the UNT for something else. Okay. In that case, I shall... How much HP does Birdsong have left? Um, she's five? got five now. Um, should I give her the mage armor? Because for her it may actually do something. It increases her AC by one up to a maximum of 16. Oh, and you can give that to someone else? Yes. Well, I'll take it. Because giving Ashara an AC of 15 is nice and all. But I think... AC of 17... Uh, 16 actually does something. Yeah. She has a natural AC of 15? Yes. Right. In that case, that is a bit more likely to hold off attacks. There it is. Also, Ashara still has her plus two fruit, so she has some inert healing. Yeah. Right. Um, in that case, I am going to Acid Splash the Goblin, because that's a lot more likely to hit than the Chromatic Orb. Good. Acid Splash is a plus 8 attack against the Goblin. That's a 2. I think he's a bit more hardy than a 10. I don't yeah. think a 10 hits anything. That's, no. that's a 12. Well, good that I didn't attack with a Chromatic Orb. That would have gone way wild. And now you can decide if you want to be the Explorer. closest hero to him when he activates or not, because I might hit the UNT. I could fly over the UNT and explore still? Or are you, we you could happy about... I mean, we just got lost. You're not going to run into the ape. That is true. Yeah, what's the worst that could... I said that last time and then the worst happened. Um, I think you can be recklessly once. I'm going to use my Reckless token that I've just been granted to fly over here and explore in this direction. That's three movement points out of my six. And I never was adjacent to him. Yeah. No help coming through the village. No help coming through the village. And one monster. What is it? Your monster is a Vegit Pygmy Warrior. Huh. Not buffed by the Chieftain because we took care of him. I'm kind of happy about that. So he charges and... Well, first he just goes there and you get an encounter because Black Arrow. Black Arrow 
makes me draw an encounter. Triceratops attack. Attack each hero on your hero's tile for which a plus one. six, which might do two damage or one damage if it misses. Are we taking that because it only hits Ashara? And then she's hit by the Vegeta Pygmy Warrior and half dead. We'll get more experience. Did the Vegeta Pygmies get buffed at some point? Why? Did they always have 2 HP? Huh. They might have. Wow, that would have made the last adventure horrible. Indeed. Wow, okay, we kind of cheated a lot there. Um, And didn't notice until now. That's bad. Of us and in this situation. Anyhow, um, let's really get rid of the tri Triceratops now. Yes, please. And, but well, it's it's not that bad. We put down a lot of splash on that village, so they would have true. died a little later, but they would true. have all died. True, true. Yeah, with the fireball and lightning going on. Right. In that case, only the veggie pygmy is going to attack me from here. And he's going to hit. And no amount of mage armor would have saved me from that step, but he's only dealing one point of damage. And I'm at full HP, or at least used to. So. Bird song. Move one, two. And. Now she'll use her Bardic Inspiration and attack an adjacent monster and hit or miss up to two other heroes on her tile gain advantage. Ooh, nice. Let's hit them, please. That's a 15 that hits, yeah. especially with the plus four. Fairly confident in that. So that's one point of damage. Yeah, but she can't really explore and she can't um, get the... I, uh, the Bateri. Now I want to look something up because she has dispel magic. She has, she has the utility power to once cancel an encounter. So if this is bad, she'll use her utility power. Please, let's see if it's bad enough, then. It's a friendly Hwinger. She gains advantage. Oh, and I wanted to give the other two advantage anyway, so everyone gets advantage. Everyone but Birdsong. Uh, but but Ashara. <laughs> I'm uh, probably only going to make that mistake 20 more times. Alright, that wasn't so bad. But this guy is going to move over because Kawasha is still looking more healthy than um, Dragonbait. And he's not focusing anyone in particular, right? Mm, closest hero. Closest hero, okay. Which also was Kawasha, so no choice there. 18. That's goodbye to my bark skin. Sad. Oh well. Oh, and I can stay here. <laughs> okay. But that's all for this turn? Yes, we had our encounter. We had the villains, everything good. More or less. Well, good is a big word for what's going on here. Well, we've got a pile of heroes and monsters. Let's see how it works out. Dragon bait. Dragon bait. You've got advantage. You've got two monsters which are very close to each other. I see possibilities here. I do too. Let's see if I can't take down two of these guys. Let's move here and here. And then attack with the swift strikes. And I only have 
advantage from the next roll. So... Which one of these is harder to hit? Yeah. The Tiri has an AC of 12. And the UNT? The UNT has an AC of 13. So let's go with the UNT first. He's also the one preventing us from... Moving around. Moving around and doing stuff. Or at all. Yeah. Okay, so... The... Have my die for the advantage. Right. UNT first. That's at least a 14, 18. That hits, and it would have hit anyways, but good. And the then, goblin? Wait, that removes the UNT and draws you a treasure, just in case that becomes relevant. It's quiet, too quiet. We know that one. Do you want it on the encounter deck or on the monster deck? Honestly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we, we still need to draw at least one. At least one. We will get an encounter this time. So that's just not. Let's just not. Now goblin. Now goblin. Right. That's a 9, that's up to a 30. He's got a 12. So he also gets creamed. We are able to count on an encounter now. Um, you still can move though. Can I move, attack, move? Well, it's worded like this. Your hero moves according to his or her speed, which is the number of squares you can move your hero. Think of your hero's speed as your movement budget. Each time your hero moves a square, you spend one point from that budget. When you have no more speed left, your hero can't move anymore. Right, so I still have three points left. I think that's how we should understand that. Okay, in that case, I could go and explore and I probably should. Yeah. One, two, three. Let's open up here. More traps, more monsters, more but traps, no encounters. More I could cancel one of these monsters. Should I? Probably should. Yeah. Because we have enough. Well, we only have the one veggie pick me left. Yeah, but let's adventure not, might let's not, not get, get let's not get swamped. I'm going to use my Shen state. Dragon bait enters a unique meditative stance, uh, allowing him to sense those who mean him harm. So I know that guy means me harm, so I don't want him to exist. <laughs> you don't want to meet him. <laughs> the other one is the Velociraptor. Oh. I want to meet him, I think, maybe. He, he wants to meet you. He is kind of cute. And he sees you as meat. That's, um, like I said, kind of cute. Let's begin with the meeting. Meeting happens. He is going to... Is within one tile of a hero. Moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks with a pounce. The pounce is only plus six, but two damage and disadvantage. Ew, let's hope well, he dodges. Disadvantage isn't that bad on Dragon Bait because he's got the thing where he can remove one condition before his turn starts. That's true. That very much hits. I'm afraid so. Um, two points of damage. Ouch, ouch. Ouch all around and disadvantage. Could have gone better, could have gone worse. Not much though. Not much. Uh, right. Um, help me? Anyone? Yeah, it's up to Kawasha now. Please. Alright, Kawasha will move on and 
Throw out his good berries, why not? He gets at least uh, three of our guys like that. He does. I appreciate. Then he's just going to take out his boinking stick and begin to just mash in the Fetcher Pygmy. Right, let's, let's go for mashed potatoes here. He's got advantage. It's plus nine anyways. Oh, so you really don't need that one. No. And that puts one damage on the Fetcher Pygmy. More hardy than we thought they were. Um, now let's think I moved two tiles. Shall I open up more stuff or do Can we you? leave it at that? We still have one encounter auto-canceling itself. Can you even make it? Well, I moved one. I have a speed of six. Oh, okay. Yeah, then you can. I think I might. So I'm far over there, but uh, I might bring out the great ape now. Starting now, that is a very real possibility. But in that case, we could just nuke it and leave the other guys. <laughs> that's that's quite true. Let's see. Wait, I, I, I already used my headless bravery token, right? Yes, I but should... Kawasha still has his. I, I, okay. I should advise him that this is a stupid move, though. It is. But it worked out, see? Being reckless always pays off. Mm. You don't know what that monster is yet. It's a Zorbo. Ah, see. Might eat his moods of elven kind. Um, speaking of them, let's see if they work. Yeah, please, roll. They do. But it was quiet. So, no encounter. And the Zorbo moves adjacent to the closest hero and claws it. Hmm, that works. That That's misses and he doesn't eat my boots. Very happy about that. He may gnaw on them a little bit. Good. Good. Ashara says, can take her pick. Ashara can take her pick. Ashara still has the veggie pick me assigned to her, so she's going to try and acid down that one. That's a good call. She should not bring out the ape, though. Alternatively, I could just web the plant and leave it standing there. Gen then just... <laughs> yeah. That's... I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my wedding power again. Place three web tokens underneath the plant. And then just fly off. Because mm. I've got places to be. <laughs> That's going to take a while. Yeah, we're just not going to stand next to him anymore. So he's useless. She has learned that these guys are in fact creatures and not fruit. And Probably and by pretty. nibbling. Multiple times and being disappointed every time. And hurt. I can acid splash the raptor. You can. He is rather nimble and very dodgy, but I may still just melt him. Here, eat this. Oh, he dodges. He refuses to eat this. Maybe I shouldn't have, uh, you know, warned him. But. Ah! It's fine. Calling out your attacks, it's what heroes do. Um, also, is it really an attack spell if you don't screech at the top of your lungs? Let's not get philosophical here. Um, Birdsong. Right. Birdsong. Wait. 
Encounter. Encounter. Another hidden trip wire. You have four traps to choose from. Uh, let's just... Doesn't really matter. This one. No, wait. This is too far away, right? No, two tiles. Two tiles. Okay, dart trap. I eat that one. One point of damage. Yeah. It hurts, but, but it's no spear trap. No, it's, it's, it's... You know, darts are kind of like small spears. Tiny, tiny spears. Right. Birdsong. Birdsong. I think I'll leave the raptor to dragon bait. Please do. And I might open up. So. One, two, three, four, five. That's I'm not thing. sure you can move through monsters. Oh, yeah, you're right. But, uh, but you but can still do it. Yeah. I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And I will. Again, use my Bardic Inspiration on the Zorbo. On the Zorbo. Plus four. Fifteen. 15. Does that hit? Yes, it hits. So nice. got a fourteen. And only one HP? Only one HP? Yes. <laughs> yes, he does. Um, just that's checking. Advantage on Kawasha, advantage on the Shara. Right. Oh, and... Birdsong would have had advantage for that attack, but she managed anyways. Did we really just... Okay. I forgot to remove the advantage on Kawasha, I forgot to remove the advantage on Birdsong, but it's alright. And Zorbo is gone. Zorbo gone. And encounter... No, not encounter. Uh, exploration. Tile. Yeah. And we just move the jungle over. It's very agile anyway. Yeah. That was a wonderful camera pan. Finally, more movement in our videos. <laughs> Could jiggle the camera a little, get a bit of that handheld action in. Earthquake. <clears throat> All right, we get an encounter, we get a monster, we don't get any great apes. <clears throat> That's great sad? apes. Do those get abbreviated to grapes? Oh, well, we don't get any great apes. But, but we get small We ones. get apes. It's a zoo monster. Uh, psychic crush on everyone. Oof, this is going to hurt a lot after the encounter hits. After the encounter hits, yeah. Constrictor weed. Tighten some murderously around your ankle. Yes. Birdsong is stunned. Sue monster on the not mushroom grove? Yeah. Let's hit everyone. Starting with Ashara. I'm going yep. from back to front here. Six. That's a plus four. That misses. But she's stunned. Why? Because uh, the psychic crush Ah, does one damage and stun. She's not stunned. He missed her. Right. I, yeah. She's not stunned. I'm happy about that. Plus four against Kawasha. That's a natural one. That monkey isn't good with the aggressive thinking. Nope. And finally, Birdsong, the only one who's stunned anyways. 19. She suffers. She suffers. One damage. Back down to half HP. That could have been worse. And her stun is stunned. Her stun is stunned, so it can't activate now. Next turn, and she can move normally. Right, end of turn. One tiny thing we forgot last turn was that Koopa Louis also moved. He doesn't want to be left alone all the way back here. Right, so, with that done, it's once more Dragon Bait's turn. Who is being threatened by the Velociraptor? 
but it's also the start of your turn. That it is, and I am able to discard one condition of my choice, which in this case is going to be this disadvantage. It was hardly constitutional, what was it called? Divine, Divine health. health. Before, because he's a paladin. He's a paladin. Paladins yeah. are immune against all sorts of, well, mostly illnesses. I think I'll just swift strike the guy where I stand. Cross nah. two attempts. Yeah, if I miss, I... Well, I'm not going to miss both, I'm going to assume. But I could then go explore towards the bottom edge there. It I don't think I want that. You, you don't want that. I think I'd rather be with a group where I can be fired at by the AOE monkey. Yeah, that's a lot. Where you better. can move in closer to the monkey. Also, it's quite a bit of time until the monkey is doing anything. Yeah, let's just get rid of the... You know, jumpy, Stuff. jumpy guy. <laughs> let's let's get rid of the jumpy guy with my swift strikes. The Jumposaurus. Should I just, since I have movement points, I may as well move here, attack that guy, and if I kill him first try, I can also get rid of the veggie pygmy. That's that's a smart idea. Sometimes I have this, very rarely. That's a miss. Second attempt. That's also miss. I am not going to run from him because then he will just pounce me again. But you could move a bit up so the Vegepigmy Pygmy can't stab you. True. So I'm going to move back here. Because I want him to be adjacent so he'll rent me instead of yeah, you don't pouncing want, me. <laughs> you don't want to give him the advantage of a running charge. Yeah. So, wait. Encounter. Yes, I was just about to do something completely different. It's a hidden tripwire. Hey. Pretty good triggering every single wire in this jungle, I think. Maybe we even brought some. Whatever, I'm just not going to question it and eat this star trap over here. That's half my health gun. Let's see if the raptor gets a bite as well. He does. Of course, he does. Just if you missed it, that's a natural 20 again. <laughs> Let's just run from this little fella and hope to kill the monkey because I think that's like more likely. Monkey is 2 HP. Two? Yes. Oh, the the monkey monkey, not the yeah. great ape monkey. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure the great ape has more than two HP. Yeah, I was really confused there. Anyway. Right, it's Kawasha's turn. Kawasha's turn. I think I think I might try to do something here. Um let me just check. That Vegepick Pygmy Warrior already had one turn, right? So one of these is gone. Just... Alright. With Kawasha. I will use my Ape Wild Shape. Kawasha assumes the form of the Savage Ape and go for monkey combat here. I use it at the start of my hero phase and I assume the form of an ape. Sadly they didn't include a token for this or a miniature so I had to pill for something from another game and the best I could come up with is a standee. Ta -da! Transform. And now I've got a different set of stats. I have a speed of 5 and now I 
attack for plus four and two damage. Also, I attack twice. Ooh, that's useful. Yes, and I'll just move one, two, three, and begin beating on the monkey. It's a 12 plus four. That's 16. That hits. Also, you forgot your advantage. Then. Oh, yeah, I did. Still beat the monkey to a pulp. And I get a treasure. Ooh, I get an item. I get the eyes of minute seeing. These magic lenses allow you to see the faintest of details. <laughs> Used during your hero phase, reveal each trap token that is adjacent to your hero. There's no more traps in this entire jungle. I think we've triggered them all by now. Uh, who gets this? I'm just giving it birdsong to sell later. Yeah. Also, she's the one diving into a whole pile of traps every now and then. Yeah, every time was what I was going to say, but yes. It's reusable once an adventure. That's neat. Right, um, you I, didn't ex I could explore still if I wanted to, but I don't think I want to. No. Leave the exploring to the girls. Yeah, because um, if the ape uh, I've got separate HP on this uh, ape form, and mm -hmm. I can get beaten out of it. Right, okay. I still want to be able to, well, uh, mess unload. with the other ape. <laughs> unload on the other ape, okay. In that case, it's Ashara's turn. And she will just throw acid towards the raptor and then find the giant ape to get beaten into a pulp. She could. Right, whatever. These reckless tokens are apparently reusable. I'm going to throw acid onto the raptor. That's a miss. Because he's just immortal. We should really stop messing with that guy. Well, that's my attack. I may as well just fly away and panic now. You know, Ashara actually has, apart from Kawasha, the most hit points left in the party, and she still has that heal. She does, and yes, and yes. So, go find the giant ape. All right. Find the giant ape. Oh no! It's a fallen tree, that's even worse than shattered ones. The air erupts with a deafening roar as you reach the great ape's home. The beast is enormous, with four arms and a mouthful of razor sharp fangs. Jessamine better appreciate this. Instead of drawing monster cards for the tile, we place the great ape villain card and the Jorallan figure, that's the thing you're holding, on the ambush side of the fallen tree. And he's a villain, so he activates as a villain. We win the adventure as soon as this thing is dead. Right. I have the villain card here, but um, since it's his turn now, you don't get an encounter. I'm just going to read out what he does. Yeah, 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 go ahead. That's great ape. This enormous Duralan is truly a mighty force of nature. If he is within one tile of an active hero, he moves adjacent to that hero and attacks the hero twice with its crushing fist. It's a plus six for one damage. Um, and the mean thing about this guy is, if he is not within one tile of the active hero, but is adjacent to a different hero, it attacks that hero four times with his crushing fist in a frenzy. Wait, so now he's going to move next to Ashara, and unless everyone is just swarming him, he's going to keep walloping Ashara 
Into a bloody pool. Yes. Oof. Yes. Well, you can okay. move him onto the other tile, I think. Behind her. As a villain. Yeah, you mean? Yeah, uh, as long as he moves, um, it doesn't really count for his big size. Okay. In that case, let's go. Um... Because that means he's close enough to attack Birdsong. Oh, no, he isn't. But still. Still. Yeah. Um... I do wonder now... Two attacks. Yes. Yes. Whatever. I'm just gonna go with two attacks. One thing, since I forgot. Meh. Still... No, that would have actually killed the... Raptor from the acid splash earlier because I did have advantage on that. So I rolled two dice because I remembered and I melted the immortal raptor. And got a treasure for that. Let's just quickly do that before I get beaten to pulp. You find the Tombilly leaves. You look at the top card of the monster deck and put it um, underneath the top three, three cards or return it to the top. No, it's fine where it is. We might still want to know what it is, though. Okay. It's a Batiri warrior waiting if we open any other tiles. Okay. He can stay. Right, then. Um, the Great Ape beats me once with a plus four. Yes. It's and twice. Uh, with a plus six. Oh, I apparently didn't record that. Okay, um, doesn't Did matter. It was uh, yeah. eleven and uh, fifteen. We we'll just have to take our word for it that we're not cheating. Into more damage. I mean, just look up real quick when you can use that heal. In my hero face, and this is in my villain face. Yeah. Also. The webbed bush is continuing to struggle with the web. Well, bird is done, bird's on. Sadly, I am stunned. Hmm. So you can either move adjacent to him and do nothing, or you can not do that and I'll move adjacent to him. Sacrifice Ashara. Because he can't kill me in just one go. I think that's. Yeah, that's sensible. And we can cancel two encounters, so... And she still has her personal encounter cancel. True. Right, then let's hit record this time. Yes, and wait until I have uh, looked at the encounter. Stop the recording again. It's an assassin vine. It would attack my hero for a plus five and a stun. I really don't want that. I'm. Not sure how much more turns Birdsong is going to get, so I'm just going to dispel it. Right. Now. Dice. That's one, that's a hit. That's a hit. That's, that's a miss. A one. That's not a hit. And. That's the end of our turn. That's the end of our turn. We found the boss. The boss found us. The boss is proceeding to smash us into tiny, tiny bits. Yes, but slowly. Right. Everything is going according to plan. Somewhat. Apart from Kupalui again not having moved. Some time he'll learn, eventually. Dragonbait! You go past the thrashing bush. Watch out for, you know, vile curses. Shara, move your wings. Yeah. Okay. 
Dragonbait is going to attempt his best strike against the Great Ape, hoping to slay it in one hit. He's going to go for the Grievous Strike, which is a plus 8 attack, dealing 4 damage on a hit. That's a 16, that hits. It hits. Didn't even need to explain that if he misses, he doesn't flip the card over. Oh. That's a lot of hurt on the big, big ape monkey guy. Yeah, but he also has a lot of HP, doesn't he? 11 points. So that's a bit more than one third. It's a start. It's a start. Encounter? Encounter. Hail of Traps. Each player chooses a trap within one tile of their hero and triggers it as if their hero was on it. Ha! <laughs> jokes on you! We already triggered every trap! Yes. And I just looked up. Cooper Louis counts as a hero for the purpose of monster tactics. But this isn't monster tactics. No. <laughs> yeah. With our genius tactics, we already ran into every trap we could have triggered. We're brilliant. We're brilliant. Master plan. Um, so that was that. Oh, 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 oh. I, I forgot. Haha. I'm, I forgot that I'm actually clever. I used the poison on my grievous strike to inflict one additional point of damage because I bought that at Portnian's Arrow. That sounds very paladin. Of course, I'm a... Did I mention that I'm a paladin of the poison user god? Oh. So, green paladin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he is green, isn't he? He kind of is. See? He's green, you're green. He is Everything's green. Green knight. Let's go. Well, ape tries to return the favor. Tries, but won't succeed because I'm confident <laughs> in my ability to withstand his pummeling. Because you don't want him to. 11 plus 6, that's a 17 that hits precisely. 14 that also hits. So that's two more points of damage on the Paladin. He has two left, he's fine. Oh, well, I'm sure we can somehow salvage this. Yeah, of course. Of course. Kupalue, um, since we still can cancel a lot of encounters, I'm not going to bother opening anything up. Please open up that damn ape. Yeah, I'll, I'll show him. And Please I'll do. put down two attacks. It's a plus four. Eleven plus four is fifteen. His AC is thirty. So that's two damage. And another attack. Four. That misses. Sadness. Still, that was quite a bit of hurt on him. And now I'm not going to forget Kupalue. As soon as it's actually his turn, the ape goes first. Ape goes first. Two attacks. Yeah. I've got an AC of 12 on this thing. Plus one because Buckskin, right? No, Buckskin got this belt already. Yeah. So that's one damage on my great ape form. One. And two damage on my great ape form. But it's got three HP, so it's still there. Nice. Now, Kupalue. Now, Kupalue. Charge. Finally manages to move up, and it's the epic battle. Vegemite Pygmy versus Vegemite Pygmy. Brother against brother. Yeah, no, they're just saying hi as they pass each other. Yeah, that's more of a friendly tap with the spear than anything. Alright. Right, so, um... Ashara, right? Ashara. Ashara is going to use Melf's Acid Arrow. And... 
then probably just still tank his attack for one more turn. Yeah, she, she can do it. Also, you still have your heal. I'm going to first use my heal. You are very right. That's back up to five hit points. I can tank this thing for at least two more turns. Melf's Acid Arrow is a plus seven attack, dealing three on a hit and one on a miss. Plus seven, 20. That's an extra damage. So that's four points of damage, plus one from the Portnian Zaro Poison. That's five points of damage. And he's already got six points of damage on him, so that kills him exactly. Wow. That's a really... Uh, no, I'm doing it. Now you're doing it. <laughs> Ashara, Ashara really didn't want another boss to mess with her. No, 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 she's good. No need for any more messing. Besides, if she didn't kill him now, the Veggie Pippin would have gotten free. And we <laughs> wouldn't have gotten that free joke the next time we encounter one. Can't have that. Still, you, you get a treasure. Hooray! It's a scroll of disintegrate. Does she really need it though? I mean, after what she just did to that, that thing. That thing's worth money. Money good, money good. Speaking of money, I think it's time to get this guy out and read what? the end of the end. adventure. Yes, but still, let's read the aftermath. He did not need this. He did not need this. Especially not a Shara. Especially not a Shara. <laughs> no, especially not Dragon Blade. If we complete the scenario without using any healing searches, each hero receives 200 gold pieces. Nice. I'll just distribute them now. The rest I'm going to read when we're back at Port Nyanzaru. But I do sincerely hope that our dear friend is going to give us the information we seek now. Jessamine is as good as her word and tells you that according to the divination spells her mages cast, the death curse appears to originate from a place called the Tomb of the Nine Gods. It is rumored to be located in the lost city of Omu, but no one knows where Omu is supposed to be. If you travel to Fort Belurian and talk to Liara Portier, the commander of the fort, you should be able to glean more information. So. This is our last time in Port Nyanzaru. Um, I should actually look up what we really remove this time, but this looks pretty much all right. I will correct this afterwards if it's wrong. This time we say goodbye to a pouch of copper oh no. and get more treasures into the deck instead of it. And we say goodbye to the two shattered trees. I'm... I have mixed feelings about that. Also, we might have um, used the Acid Splash wrong last time and we might have given the Veggie Pygmies too much HP, but in exchange for that we ignored that due to having solved the first adventure without using any healing searches, the marketplace would have been twice as big every time we were here. Now it automatically gets blown up to six cards. Six, so, not eight? Six, yeah, I think. Wait a moment. Didn't you just say twice as big? Uh, it's not twice as big. Six okay. is not twice as big as four, but still. So let's see what the marketplace has to offer on our last turn here. Pouch of copper doesn't appear. Bag of silver doesn't appear. Pouch of copper doesn't appear. It's a hunter's bracelet. Interesting. It's a ring of protection. Also interesting. And another pouch of copper. Let's have a look at these. The hunter's bracelet endows the wearer with good luck in hunting. Your hero gains plus one bonus attack to uh, plus one bonus to attack rolls against monsters within one tile of your hero. That's quite tasty. Indeed. 
And the Ring of Protection is a small but potent ring capable of defending you from harm. Gets, gives a hero plus one bonus to AC. But these are both incredibly costly. Yeah. Costing 1200 for the Hunter's Bracelet and costing 1000 for the Ring of Protection. And remember, these actually are in the treasure deck, so we can find them at random. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting after next adventure, our heroes can level up for quite a hefty sum of money. I am going to sell the Scroll of Disintegrate again. All right. If only so we can later find, find it, again. it again. I might actually do the same with the eyes of my new seeing. I like them, but I don't like them that much. Would have kept any of those two, but these can go. I think the Boots of Elvenkind and the Wand of Fireballs we can just keep. Yeah, the Wand of Fireballs is really great for just freeing a tile of monsters, and the Boots of Elvenkind are just nifty to have. Right. In that case, we have a lot of money. We have. But we may want to consider just saving up since the rerolls are nice and all. But I don't feel they are that important. Correct me if I'm wrong. Not so far. Do we want any of these bracelets, ring of protection? I think or do we... we just want to stay rich? I think we just want to stay rich because unlike in Temple of Elemental Evil, so far no encounter or monster has been trying to steal our money. Very true. They just try to eat magic items, but not money. So I'm going to say, let's just keep all the money and level as soon as possible once we get there. That's a good plan. I mean, it's a fort inside the jungle. I'm sure they have some survival equipment for dealing with the jungle, right? Probably. Right. Unless it's your typical fort at the edge of, edge of civilization in trouble and in dire need of heroes because they've run out of supplies and everything. But what are the chances of that? See you next time!